Hello everyone, Mike here, and we're getting really, really close to the spring 2021 anime season, so I thought I'd come on and uh, share a little of what I'm going to be looking at this season, or at least what I plan to. Lord knows my short attention span, half the shows I start to watch I never end up finishing. But I have nine uh, different anime that have my attention I'm going to be checking out this coming season. Of course, right off bet number one, no surprise given a lot of the videos I do on this channel, My Hero Academia Season 5. Um, I am a manga reader, so I already know more or less what's going to be happening this season, and that in some ways makes it fun, because I'm excited to see the stuff that I read about uh, on the screen. Um... Yeah, there's not really much else for me to add to that. I am just really excited, really looking forward to the next season. There are, most of the predictions I'm getting are what we're going to see in the season in, are we going to reach this particular point of the manga, or are we only going to go to this? I don't want to give any, you know, specification because I know there's people who don't read the manga and I don't want to spoil things for them. Um, I have my prediction. The the first half of the season is going to be the stuff that the previews have been for. And that's the, the big uh, uh, joint training between class 1A and 1B. And I can almost guarantee the entire first half of the season is probably going to be that. As for what comes afterwards, I don't want to get into it because, again, spoilers. All right, let me take a look here. I'm looking through uh, my anime list at the list shows. Ah, the next thing popping up for me here, Zombieland Saga Revenge. This is another one that I've done my share of videos on Zombieland Saga, including a uh, video I did a little while back when they first announced the release date for Zombieland Saga Revenge and... Uh, I am very much looking forward to this. This this was a surprise hit for me because when this when the first season came out, I'd never heard of it. It was just kind of, I was just kind of flipping through. It's like, oh, let's try some different things this season. And this series just hit me so hard and I loved it. And I was I've been waiting and waiting for them to make the second season which was announced like almost immediately after the uh the first season ended it just took a while because you know they had the, the with the pandemic and all that everything got delayed but we're finally getting it and i cannot wait to see this this one of course coming out april 9th uh oh uh Actually, I'm, I may have to check on that because I'm looking. Never mind. I was looking at a different show. This thing's got like all the shows listed. I, I mixed up my shows. Yeah, um, of course, March 27th for My Hero Academia Season 5. April 9th will be uh, Zombieland Saga Revenge. Very much looking forward to that. All right. Ah. Shaman King. This is a very nostalgic series for me personally. When I first got into anime, they at the time had Shonen Jump in America as a physical magazine. Whereas in Japan, they would release it every week with a chapter from each of the stories that they were featuring. In America, it would release monthly and thus would have about four chapters. And I mean, this thing was thick. It was a big brick of a book full of manga. It was my introduction to One Piece, Naruto, Bleach. You know, early 2000s, these shows were just starting to pick up. And another series that was featured in this was Shaman King. I've actually been starting to read through the manga again, getting ready for this. Um, I think this is similar to what they did with Fruits Basket. When the original anime was made, the manga was still going, and the original anime was not as successful as I think they would have liked. But now, several years later, the manga's completely finished. 
they can properly tell the story like they did with Fruits Basket when they rebooted that. They're going to do the same thing here, and I'm hoping for the same success that Fruits Basket had. Because, again, I loved Shaman King. I think it's a great manga, it's a fun story, and I am very excited to get to see it uh, hopefully done uh, better than it was the first time. This uh, comes out on April 1st. All right. We got another uh, second season. This being Welcome to the Demon School, Irumakun. This one I got into a little bit late. It was already close to the end of the season when I started watching it, and I just binged uh, the series, mostly due to friends of mine saying, hey, you should check this show out. It's really, really good. And they were right. <laughs> I, I loved Irumakun. It is such a fun series. I really enjoyed it and have been looking forward to the second season, which again was announced shortly after the end of the first season. Might have even been announced actually before the first season ended. I'm not sure. I was, you know, again, I got into it late. Um, the ending of the first season definitely left it pretty much begging for a sequel. So I cannot wait to see where they're going to be going with this. And uh, that comes out on April 17th. Let's see here. All right. Now we've got our uh, first uh, original series, which is one that I'm not familiar with going into it. And that I don't know if they've even actually given it an, uh, an English title yet. But its uh, its Japanese title is Slime Taoshite uh, Sambyakunen uh, Shiranai Uchi ni Level Max ni Natemashita. This this is one where I read the synopsis and it drew me in about a uh, woman who dies of overwork as a as an office worker, which in and of itself is not funny because that's like a legitimate issue in Japan. Uh, she's reincarnated into a new world as an immortal witch, doesn't really want to have to deal with the same problem again, so she pretty much just kills slimes to uh, pay the bills. But in the process of doing this over several hundred years, she basically maxes her her stats and her level out. So she starts worrying that if people find out how powerful she is, they're going to make her work. <laughs> so she does not want this to happen. Is just looking to go out of her way to avoid people finding out just how powerful she is. And it sounds hilarious. I am really looking forward to this. I'm actually going to check in here, see if it does have an English title or if Right now, it's just... Well, I mean, it has, like, the translation of I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. Or uh, Slime 300. I don't know if uh, that's how they're actually going to title it. Um... I do know that uh, our main character is voiced by Aoi Yuki, who I'm a fan of. I love her work. She's the voice of Tsuyu in My Hero Academia. She is our lead spider girl in So I'm a Spider, So What? So I'm a fan of her. So very glad that she's going to be voicing the lead in this series. And this comes out on April 10th. All right. Let's see here. No, no, that wasn't one. See, there's a, there's a, there's always a lot of shows that come out, and uh, some of these I've looked at, and they just, you know, didn't really do much for me. Um, ah, oh, here is one. Uh, this is one that's that I don't know if it'll hold my attention, but I'm interested. And that is Shadow's House. Basically, the idea of this is Faceless Shadow nobles 
living in a vast mansion, attended by living dolls who spend much of their time cleaning up the soot endlessly emitted by the mysterious masters. Follow the story of Emiliko, a young and cheerful living doll, as she learns her duties serving as the attendant for Kate Shadowsama. It sounds weird, but it sounds kind of interesting. Again, this is one that I don't know if I'll last more than a couple episodes on it. It all depends. It's one of those that kind of sounds interesting, but they need to draw me to draw me in. Um, so I don't know if this one will be one that I'll, I'll uh, stick with, but it's one I'm going to give a shot and see what I think. Uh, this one comes out on April 11th. Okay, uh, here we got another uh, another one that's uh, the synopsis mostly has got me a little bit interested, uh, but I'm not sure how fully invested I am. I just have to wait and see. This is uh, Joran, the Princess of Snow and Blood. Uh, the synopsis here is set in an alternate history, Japan, in 1931 the 64th year of the Meiji era. The Tokugawa shogunate was never abolished and Emperor Meiji was never restored to power. The anime follows the activities of Nue, an organization of shogunate executioners who enforce the government. The country has developed its own energy source, the Dragon Vein, and has achieved a unique development in which science and the Edo, uh, Edo period are mixed. However, behind the glamorous city, the dissident organization Kuchinawa strives to overthrow the administration, while the Nue of the Tokugawa regime, who is entrusted with his extermination, are in conflict. Sawa Yukimura, whose family was killed when she was young, continues to search for Janome, the executioner of the Nue. This sounds kind of interesting. Um, the concept sounds good. I've been watching, a, I have actually been watching a lot of uh, old uh, samurai movies of late, so I'm kind of on a traditional Japan kick. So this one potentially could be interesting. Um, I'll have to see. I don't really... <coughs> Excuse me. Much like the, the last one, I don't know that I'm heavily invested, but I'm willing to give it a shot and see what I think of it. This one comes out on April 7th. All right. Uh, now, here's one I'm kind of excited for, but at the same time, a little bit hesitant. That being Godzilla SP. Now, I am a huge Godzilla fan. I love uh, the Godzilla franchise. I'm actually really looking forward to the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong movie. But I was not a fan of the Godzilla anime trilogy from a little while back. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm interested in it because it's Godzilla, so I want to watch it. But at the same time, the last time I, they tried to do an anime, it wasn't good. It's an original story, which, you know, it's, it's no, you know every, every one of the movies is practically its own story, with the exception of the uh, Heisei era, when it was all kind of one long story. Um, but yeah. I think this could be interesting. I'll be interested in if any other uh, Godzilla uh, characters appear, like any of the other kaiju. Looking over the uh, synopsis a little bit here, but uh, yeah, this is and this is one of the first Netflix anime series that I'm I'm interested in. A lot of the Netflix ones just haven't really caught my eye. All right, and that brings us to, oh, oh uh, March 25th, which is actually, that's only uh, a little less than a week away. And the last of the shows that have uh, me interested is Dragon Iewo Kao. This one, this one sounds kind of funny. And I'm a, dra I'm a fan of dragons. They're like my favorite fantasy characters, so they already had my interest there. But, uh, 
the synopsis on this one. When a dragon fails to live up to the fearsome standards set for him, his family kicks him out. He embarks on a quest to find a new home, but soon finds that life on the road is no place for a cowardly beast of legend. In a fantasy world full of elves, dwarves, and other mystical creatures, where everyone wants a piece of him, literally, the frustrations of house hunting reach a new level. This sounds kind of funny. Um, I'll have to, this isn't, this again is one of those where I'm going to have to wait and see. To be honest, the only one of the new ones that I'm really already invested in is uh, Slime 300. The other new ones I'm kind of interested in, but I don't know. They gotta, we gotta see if they draw me in. And hey, it happens. I mean, that was the same, it was the same with uh, Horimiya. Horimiya this year uh, was one that, you know, just happened to see, oh, hey, this is a new show. Well, let's check it out. And I really liked it. Uh, Spider, that one, the title drew me in. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking at, uh, anime-wise, this coming season. I think there's a decent number of, uh, shows here that I'm intrigued by. And, of course, the, uh, sequel seasons to shows that I already know I like. So I think it's gonna be a good anime season. I may do uh, another video here uh, a little way down the line to see what I ended up thinking of some of these, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, that's all I've got on this one. So until next time, thanks for being part of my geek world.